Today I'm going to talk about an article that was published in The Guardian today. It is called Children Refuse NHS Mental Health Care for Not Being Unwell Enough. So for people who know a bit about NHS mental health services, it's not a surprise, like we really knew that. Um, but what shocked me was the NHS's response to that. First I will talk a bit about Emma Thomas, the chief executive of mental health, a mental health charity Young Minds, um, described the findings as worrying. Well, yes, um, I can agree. Um, she said thresholds for treatment are often too high, which means that young people who need urgent help simply can't get it. And yes, that is worrying. That is, it's not that um, NHS is fault because I know it, they don't have enough funding for this, but it's still, it's still a problem. Um, uh, a Pulse survey of 935 GPs found nearly 30% of said criteria for adolescent mental health services, uh, CAMS, referrals have been stricter in the past year. I, I don't, like, that's really, um, a, a really scary thought because it, they're saying it got, it got stricter in the last year. I was with CAMS from 2013 to 2017 and it was already strict then. How has it got stricter? Um, it's, I just can't imagine it. Um, and then, so all, everything I'm reading is from the Guardian article. I will link it in the description if you want to read the whole thing. Um, the lack of NHS specialist treatment on offer means people experiencing problems are often told to seek help from charities instead, but these services often offer help from counsellors instead of doctors. So this actually did happen to me as well. Um, I, I was um, referred to a charity that did counselling um, that only offers six sessions and they were like, they got annoyed at CAMS, they were like, this person obviously needs more help than we can give them, like, do something. Um, so, they're just, this is just so annoying. Um, okay, so this is what the NHS said. The NHS is actually ahead of its target on ensuring as many children as possible receive mental health care. The NHS is actually ahead of its target. What's their target? <laughs> they, th there are, like, I know that it, 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 this has happened to me and it's happened to a lot of people I know and it's ha I've read stories of uh, um, it happening to a lot of other people that they are not getting the help that they need from the mental health services. So I don't know who they're helping, but no one that I know or have heard of. Um, how are they ahead of their target? <laughs> So, I don't really know what the point of me making this video is, but, like, okay, come on, cams, like, okay, I know it's not their fault, but they can't pretend that, they, that they're doing well, because they're not. Another thing that really frustrates me, and this is now, now I'm not talking about the article, is that um, the NHS cut, um, I don't know the number, um, but a lot of... Uh, beds in psychiatric hospitals to save money but then they have more they need then they don't have enough beds for all the people that need to go to a psychiatric hospital so what they do is they they pay for people to go to um, private hospitals which is what they did for me um, I've been to three psychiatric hospitals and all of them were private um, so it and I, and I saw some of the figures of how much it costs per night there and it's completely it's just it, it's a lot and so they're not really saving money by cutting beds and then having to pay for people to go privately um yeah that's just annoying in the general election last month 
um, almost all the political parties were saying that they were going to um, give more money to mental health services. But I'm a bit sceptical, because um, they've said this before, and mental health services are really not doing well. <laughs> so, a lot of kids and teenagers are being sent away from camps because they they don't meet the threshold um, to get help from them. And then what happens is that because they're not getting help, they get worse. And then and then they do get to go to camps. So I um, so this happened to me, and it happened to quite a few people I know that they were originally um, either um, sent away or put on the bottom of a very long waiting list and then they got worse and then and then camp sees them which is ridiculous because it would have been easier to help people before they get worse so I don't know what they're doing I know they're not doing this to be malicious or anything but they're really not helping <laughs> If, if this is what CAMS is like when they're, when they're ahead of their targets, then we're all doomed. Like, <laughs> what's going to happen? And or, I'm not with CAMS anymore because I'm an adult, if you didn't know. <laughs> I know I look younger. Um, and I thought CAMS was bad. The adult mental health services are even worse, but maybe that's something for another video. Anyway, the point like of this video is that mental health services are a joke, and I can't believe that an NHS spokesperson has said that they're doing that they're above target because they must have a really low target then. <laughs> Um... <laughs>